At the center of nearly every galaxy lies a monster, a giant black hole millions or even billions of times heavier than the Sun. Some, known as quasars, or active galactic nuclei, shine brightly from across the universe as they continuously devour surrounding gas. But most are dormant, lurking invisibly for thousands of years, until a star passes too close and is ripped to shreds. That triggers a months-long tidal disruption event, or TDE, which can shine as brightly as a supernova. A cosmic titan has been illuminating the night sky with violent emissions since the black hole it devoured three years ago began burping out debris from its messy stellar meal. Located in a galaxy 665 million light years from Earth, the black hole was seen in October 2018, ripping apart a star that had strayed too close. Astronomers have seen many violent collisions between stars and greedy black holes, so the event itself didn't surprise them. This tangle of spaghetti-like matter falling into the black hole causes it to heat up and emit a burst of light, which can be seen by astronomers from great distances. This stellar material is occasionally expelled back into space by the black hole. To put it another way, black holes are notoriously messy eaters. This TDE, labeled AT2018HYZ, is, however, odd in the following ways. The black hole is ejecting debris from its last meal, a star about a tenth the mass of the Sun, even though it hasn't eaten anything else in a very long time. This material is being ejected from the black hole at speeds of about half the speed of light, as calculated by Yvette Sendez and her team at the Center for Astrophysics, Harvard and Smithsonian. TDEs, on the other hand, release this material at a speed of about 10% of the speed of light. It's also unclear why it took so long for this black hole to vomit up its final meal. Edo Berger, an astronomy professor at Harvard University and co-author of the study said in a statement, this is the first time that we have witnessed such a long delay between the feeding and the outflow. In their quest to find evidence of TDEs in recent years, the astronomers stumbled upon this phenomenon. Using the Very Large Array in New Mexico, scientists were able to gather radio data indicating that the black hole had mysteriously re-emerged in June of 2021. As a result of this discovery, they decided to dig more into AT2018HYZ. The most spectacular observations of AT2018HYZ were in radio frequencies, and this was the case across all wavelengths of light and all telescopes used by the team, which included the VLA, the Meerkat Radio Telescope in South Africa, and the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array in Chile. In 2018, Sebastian Gomez, co-author and postdoctoral fellow at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, analyzed AT2018HYZ using visible light telescopes, including the 1.2-meter telescope at the Fred Lawrence Whipple Observatory in Arizona. Back then, he hadn't attached much significance to this TDE. They will now look into whether or not AT2018HYZ is a unique case in this regard, or if this lag between feeding and emission is more typical than astronomers realize. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.